Breaking news, everybody. Shiver, a character from an upcoming video game, identifies as a female, is apparently a woman. And if you're wondering why this is actually news, I'm about to discuss this and why you should not just assume anything and definitely not give in to assumptions on the internet. Let's talk about this now. So a couple of weeks ago, we got a Splatoon Direct where they introduced a lot of things about the upcoming game, Splatoon 3, that's coming out in September. And in this Direct, they didn't specifically identify one of the main announcer slash characters of the game. Shiver is her name. And during this Direct, they did not specifically indicate that this person identifies as a female so naturally a lot of people started speculating and just started assuming that shiver was going to be quote unquote nintendo's first non-binary character and the reason why they assumed this was like i said is because they specifically took one or two sentences from this whole thing and said look here this confirms that Shiver is in fact non-binary with one problem that I saw in this whole thing and that's the fact that this isn't an official confirmation from Nintendo themselves this was literally just people on the internet speculating and promoting false evidence and jumping to conclusions aka making assumptions so now we have Nate Bildorf who is Nintendo's SVP of development coming out and confirming officially that Shiver is not a they, but is in fact a she. The thing that's really annoying about this whole thing is just the sheer fact that I never thought it was a big deal to begin with. Look, I don't really care if it turns out that Shiver was non-binary. To me, it wasn't a big deal. I can appreciate that it's a big deal, obviously, for that community because it's representation and that's what they want to see more of in video games. I can understand that. But the problem here is, once again, is you should never just assume something until, you know, it's officially confirmed. Like, that's the thing that really bugged me about this. And I was going to make a video about this, but I just never got a chance to get around to it because, you know, I'm an adult, I'm a busy man. But, all the same, is this is the problem when people start spreading rumors and stuff on the internet. Is unless it's actually directly out of someone that represents Nintendo, you should never just assume something is in fact, well, a fact. What makes this situation even worse now is that Nintendo's not going to be able to win. They're going to get some bad publicity here just for the sake of it's not even... It's out of their hands. Let me clarify. They're going to be mad right now. The community, the non-binary community is going to be really upset at Nintendo for not making Shiver a they. Not making Shiver, you know, a non-binary character. They're going to feel like they were wronged because they were led to believe by false information that Shiver was in fact a they. Information, let me remind you, that Nintendo did not provide and did not claim as such. The reality is, is that a lot of people made assumptions and are upset because they made the wrong assumptions. That's just what it is. Now here's the worst thing about this. Let's say they didn't clarify this before the game and they just let people believe what they want to believe. You get into the game and they start identifying Shiver as a she and not as a they and all of a sudden everybody that was going to believe that Shiver was in fact a they is going to be upset, even more upset I would argue, because now they're going to feel like they were wronged and they were tricked or they were misled by Nintendo, which once again, bear in mind, Nintendo never said anything really about Shiver being non-binary, they didn't make it official, they didn't make it a big statement or anything like that, and so they're going to feel wronged by Nintendo, even more so. So they didn't have a chance. Nintendo never had a chance in this situation to come off as the good guys. So they're just trying to get ahead of it right now. That's why they had to have someone come out and say, hey, Shiver's actually a girl, because in the game that's already been developed and is going to be releasing soon, they're not exactly going to be able to change the fact that she's a she in the game. I'm certain they have a lot of references and already scripted scenes where it's clear that she is in fact a she. I guess the lesson we can take from this is to not make assumptions about a character's identity or someone's identity in general. And this 
is definitely a big one. To not make assumptions on the internet because you read something on the internet. It is the internet. What part of that are you actually going to trust? That's the thing about this, is never trust assumptions. And don't go out making assumptions and treat it like it is fact. Because once you discover it is in fact not a fact, it's just going to make you hurt and annoyed and upset, but you really only have yourself to blame. This concludes this gaming topic. I thought it was interesting enough just to, you know, give that lesson about not assuming things from companies or people or anything. Definitely don't assume someone's identity. I just, you know, maybe not do that next time. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I am Bradley Overrated. I like a drought, and have a great day.